So, hi guys, and welcome back to um, Flight Time. I know it's been so long, it's been so long since I've been here, but it's actually been about three months. Yeah, so let's begin. And 3,000 years later. <laughs> yeah, so we're back in RFS, RFS Flight Simulator Pro, optional. And for Pro, um, yeah, so I bought the um, one active month. And it's been like three months since I bought this. Yeah, so fly now. We're going to be doing the basis jumps 146, 300, and so that's not the real name. It's like um, Arion, something like that. And we're doing American Airlines. It's old American Airlines, but when you go on here. Yeah, but I thought it would be American Eagle, one of the small. American Eagle was one of the small planes. So we're going to be taking off from S. BGR, then going to be going to SBSP. I'm pretty sure you never heard of either one of those airports, but if you're a pilot, you'll you'll know um one of them. So see where we're going to land is a um airport in um in um Mexico, and we're in Mexico right now. We're on the flight simulator. So what I normally do is I go off well on there. I go to the engine page, turn all my engines off, wait till they all the way turn off, then I do do push back, and all the way over there, then I'll, yeah, I'll cut this part out, so yeah. Okay, so I'm back and it's been like two minutes. Yeah, so what you want to do now is press APU for what you want to do is on this, you want to go to ground system and press your parking brake. You want to press a ground ground system. We want to press ground systems APU, let that warm up. Then you want to press ground ground power unit, let that warm up, then it's going to warm the plane up. The point I mean, sorry. Wait, then you don't want to do that. Then you want to drag that up. You want to press the systems. Then you want to say no smoking. Then you want to turn all of this on, except your landing lights. Then you want to turn that on. Then you can go. Then you, wait. Then you go to ground, ground frequency. Say holding point. And then let us talk. Power on one one eight decimal four zero zero. Okay, so now we can go to I I T I S. That's the weather. November at one H I H Zulu departure runway two seven right transition level nine zero wind three two six degrees three knots. Have Zero, one, six. 
Okay, so we're finished with that. Now we can exit out and go to the tower frequency. And we don't press anything. And if you're if you're not used to seeing that E and you haven't played RFS in a long time, this is the new um update 1.16. Um if you play it, once you start to play it a little, um, RFS should send you a notification to update it. Yeah, because on other games like Roblox and this, it won't let me play it until I update it. Yeah, so that's, yeah, and my computer's running out of memory. It's 4 gigabytes. I have a PC, but I haven't got that running yet. So, yeah, there we can do all of that. Then we can load all of our passengers, which is 100 no, wait, I thought it was 114. Yeah, so what that goes up. And this is... And you want to bring your... And you want to bring your... To VR rotation. And you can let all the cargo go onto this plane. And you can see right there how it's there. So that's why you got the fuel truck and you want to bring it to about 20, 20%. Let that go down. And actually about 30%, sorry. Thirty-one. So yeah, so we can dismiss the fuel truck, the bad, the baggage, and we can put seatbelt seatbelt signs on, which would be up there. But yeah, this flight simulator isn't doesn't like what you do all the controls, but it does have realistic controls. Cause right there, if you press that little QR, that little card thing, it will pop up here. Then it shows you like how high and how fast you're going. This is pretty good for a um, flight for a mobile flight sim. Then you could like check your flight plan. Then yep. So the max so it looks like is nine thousand feet. You don't have to worry about that because I'm setting after we take off autopilot. That's autopilot right there. It won't let us put it on yet. Yes. Yeah, so and now let's go to passengers. Say crew. Departures and boarding. Yeah, Say safety boarding. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the crew, we request your full attention as the flight attendants demonstrate the safety features of this aircraft. Take a minute to locate the exit closest to you. Note that the nearest exit may be behind you. Count the number of rows to this exit. Should the cabin experience sudden pressure loss, stay calm and listen for instructions from the cabin crew. Oxygen masks will drop down from above your seat. Place the mask over your mouth and nose like this. Pull the strap to tighten it. If you are traveling with children, make sure that your own mask is on first before helping your children. In the unlikely event of an emergency landing and evacuation, leave your carry-on items behind. Life rafts are located below your seats and emergency lighting will lead you to your closest exit and slide. We ask that you make sure that all carry-on luggage is stowed away safely during the flight. While we wait for takeoff, please take a moment to review the safety data card in the seat pocket in front of you. You don't want to say door closing? This is your chief flight attendant. On behalf of our captain and the entire crew, welcome aboard. At this time, make sure your seat backs and tray tables are in their full upright position and that your seat belt is correctly fastened. Also, your portable electronic devices must be set to airplane mode until an announcement is made upon arrival. Thank you. Then you can say prepare for takeoff since the runway is right in front of us. We are now ready for takeoff. Please make sure your seat belts are fastened and all baggage is secured underneath your seat or in the overhead compartments. 
We also ask that your seats and table trays are in the upright position for takeoff. Please switch to airplane mode or personal electronic devices, including laptops and cell phones. Enjoy your flight. I only just traveled to Miz to 204, okay? We're good with that. Now I want to go to pilot, say departures. And then pilot announcements, you want to press door doors departure. Then you want to say prepare for takeoff. Then you want to press in flight and say report. A quick update on our flight. The weather is good. Enjoy the rest of the Sorry, sorry about that. And then you want, then you want to do, then you want to press APU, and you want to warm up the planes, the planes normal APU up. Sorry about that. Our our spring boards are having problems right now. Yeah. So our person is there helping us. So now you want to kick the APU off. Wait till you finish hearing that. Same for ground our unit. Then you, want, then you want to go there, then you want to press close, and it should be close. Then you want to go to ATC, and you don't want to say leaving watch accent again. You want to press ground frequency, say good day, or clearance, I mean. Then you want to say start up. Ground. Request start up. Start up approved. Report when ready to taxi. Start up approved. Call you back when ready to taxi. Okay. So there, then we want to say Ground. holding point. Holding point runway. Two, seven, right. Contact tower on. One, one, eight, decimal, four, zero, zero. Roger. Contact tower on. One, one, eight, decimal. Four, zero, zero. You want to go out of that, change tower frequency again. Then you want to start engine four. If you're doing pushback, you would start engine four. You want to go there and bring it all the way up to engines. Then whenever that gets up to six, around 600 degrees, we'll start engine three. Same for two and one. And while this is happening, we can set our flaps to 18 for departure. And then, okay, there. Now we can start engine 3. Down, good. Up, good. Up, good. Down, good. This way, good. Back, good. This way, good. Back, good. And we want to test our rudder. Well, I'm going out because um, the rudder in this game is not very good, nice. So, left, good. Right, good. Also, you want to make sure if it's coming back good for both sides. And yeah, working just fine. And that's good. Engine 3. Well, 2, sorry. Okay, now engine one. Now we won't be serving snacks on this flight. So we're good on there, then we go back, then we want to turn our APU off. Okay, then we need to put our landing lights on. Not yet. 
by tower to ground. I want to say taxi. Taxi to holding point runway two seven right. Roger. Taxi to holding point runway two seven right. Okay, now I'm go out. Go to tower. Say departure. And I want to bring it back to nav. Yeah, to nav. Takeoff runway two seven right. Call you back passing three thousand feet. Okay, and now we can press our landing light. Landing light comes on. Now we taxi. Now we get on the runway, full power. Make sure we still have time. Yep. I mean, enough fuel. Okay. Sorry. B1. B1. Rotate. Rotate. Pull up. Flaps. Flaps up. Then autopilot comes on. Pause the freight. Gear up. I can say. Leaving, leaving, 30, leaving 3,000 feet. No, there's no radar. There's no, there's no radar here. That's strange. And so when I press nav, that means it, um, it means that autopilot's engaged now. Now let's say in route, let's say report. We're gonna, we're gonna stay on report. We're not just gonna go straight to there, because that's our report right there. I know we're gonna stay on, on ATC in route. Go on there now. Connect to chat. I know it always, this game always does it. You know, it always does that. And now we can set our VR to VR, V to our VR rotation. Now VR landing. Now, now let's make sure to let our landing gear in, in your speed. Okay, two hundred five. Now another thing is about that. This is see how they just kind of park it like that, like, like it's just like not flying, like it's on a floor. I know, but Boeing, Boeing, like those pictures of like when they made a brand new 737, and they shouldn't do it for 737s because I know because they make them a lot.
So let's see the maximum that this point can go. No, do under 93. That's impressive for this. For this plane. Let's see how high we're going. Okay, 10,000. Remember where I thought we can put our landing light off. Let's just keep that handy. That's the um, runway that I was taking off before for this flight. But then that's the, um, the airport we took off. And the nearest airport is behind us. Nice. And never we touch ten one hundred ten. Okay, landing lights can come off. How are we going? Okay, 446. Yeah, so that's runway. That's the airport right down there. Sorry. An airport doesn't look big. An RF. And, um, and my commander does. Okay, so one minute. Okay, then that to 9,000 feet. Let's... Okay, landing light now. Now let's say that we're, um... Starting our descent. We are now starting our descent to our destination. The weather is good. Enjoy the rest of our flight. And that's good. Now let's ask ATT. Now let's tell ATC we're starting to descent. Start descent initially. Flight level 200. Zero, zero. Contact. Control. Radar. On. One. One. Nine. Decimal. Start descent initially. Flight level two zero zero. Contact control radar on one one nine decimal zero five zero. Okay, let's let's see. Okay. Radar. Say approach. Inbound. Sierra Alpha Lima Tango Uniform. Request landing information. Good day, Sierra Alpha Lima Tango One Bravo. Continue descent. Be level 10 miles before Oscar Lima, Romeo, Oscar November. Runway 17 right. Report full established. Continue descent. Runway 17 right. Will go. Okay, now I can press full establish. 17 right. Contact tower on 118 decimal 050. Tower on 118 decimal 050. Okay, that's good now. Now let's go go to that tower right there. Say landing. Full established runway. One seven right. Good day. Wind three three zero degrees three knots. Clear to land runway. One seven right. Clear to land runway. One seven right. Okay, now let's press. Uh, see the weather here? Flame. Arrival, runway 17 right. Transition level 90. Climb 3 to 4 degrees. 3 knots. Have on. Temperature 2 9 2.9 QMH 1017. Now let's exit out of there. And go back to the tower. Now to passengers. Then right on, right on that wave, that red end, red end, I think that's how you 
the initials are. So on red ends, we're going to tell prepare for landing, put a gear down and all that. And on that, we're probably going to put, her, to put that on, which is autopilot for landing. And it's still a thousand feet for right, for right here. I know it's kind of a long video, but at least you get to learn how to do this. And like if you're doing a 380 flight, you could just have this com this computer running. But I'll just stay next to like to a Chromebook because when you have it on on like my computer. My Chromebook, unless you have a really big processor, mine's just like 32 gig gigabyte processor, it starts to get hot, so yeah. And plus when you have Navigate, when you have that on, it um, it's autopilot, yeah, so whenever you're doing a 380 flight, yeah, you can. Don't want to sit there for 10 hours, you can control it, you can just do that. And um yeah, we're going to do how to how to land in water. I want to do a video of that. I mean, we just turned right there. Strange. Okay, so we're dropping to about 6,000 feet now. Now, whenever we get on, you get right there, you you want to put your, um, your speed to about one, to about one, um, 147. Let's make sure we can do that. Okay, yeah, we can do that. Hey, okay, one minute. A minute till we reach this waypoint. And I'm just waiting. Oh yeah, I don't need to. Okay, so next. So next waypoint we need to tell. Or we can just do that now. Okay, back to there, now we go to ATC. So that way if they, if they have us change, if they need us to go around, we can. Okay, one minute. 
You know, no, this point always does that. Yeah, this point's a fail. I'll never find that point again. Well, bye, and do subscribe, and do not. Bye.